This is the Flukes Smart Tracer Breaker Finder, model number BK120. What's the difference between this one and the Kiwits and the Klein one? Lots of differences. This is the more expensive. This is $155 Canadian here on Amazon. This different transmitter. The transmitter is different on this one. Totally different from the Kiwits and the Klein. Doesn't have the little light adapter if you want to check your lights and then find that breaker, that little connector inside the light that doesn't have that. But I heard good reviews on this one. I'm anxious to try it out, so let's get started. Let's so some features here. It's got a 150 volt Cat 3. I'm not sure what that means. Two year warranty on it. Locate the correct circuit breaker with the speed and accuracy. Receiver has a non contact voltage detector and breaker finder, so that's neat. Transmitter is a GFCI outlet tester compatible with North American outlets. So let's go to the GFCI outlet tester here. We'll try that out in on the back. Two batteries included with the package. So let's get it open. Speed things up and open up this package here. Been removing this clamshell package, the edges are very sharp. That's why I'm wearing gloves here to protect my hands. So two AAA uh, batteries included in the package. Instructions inside. Safety information, instructions inside. All kinds of, okay. So we'll take a look at this. We got batteries to take out here. Here's the transmitter. Let's check it out. Batteries in, two AAA batteries. Lock mechanism. Turn that. Let's speed things up. Let's check out the pictorials and the manual. So you press it once, it beeps once, it's on. The hold button to shut it off, it beeps twice, it's off. After five minutes, you leave it on, it'll shut it off itself. There's a built-in flashlight. Let's check out these features. Press it once, it beeps once, it's on. Now it's on. Hold it to shut it off. It's off. Press it back on. Now, there's a built-in flashlight. Here's that little icon for flashlight. Press that. The light is on and it is fairly bright. Now another feature you have when you're scanning, it wants you to go up and down this way. So you do it horizontally and you'll have the light on to help you. So here's the instructions, the pictorial instructions on how to uh, find your breaker. So you plug the unit in, you the transmitter in, you turn the unit on. So you turn this unit on, put the breaker finder on. And now, I think you'll have to scan the panel. It looks like you scan the panel. And when you're scanning the panel, you're drawing horizontally like this. And set it up like this or horizontally scanning it and it looks like you scan it once to learn the panel and the second time you go back down and it should flash green then you shut your breaker off so we're going to try that out and see how it works and we'll put the transmitter into a one of the plugs here and see if we can find it this outlet's on a separate breaker this is for my log splitter here my log splitter and when you plug that in, it's up. I, already, I put it upside down because when you plug it in, it's easier to plug in with the ground up. So this is going to be upside down, but it's still going to work. You put it in. They said it's wired correctly here. Correctly wired. And then we're going to see if we can find the breaker for it. Put our breaker finder on and put the switch to the top here and turn the power on. 
And let's put the light on. There's a little light here we can put on. And I've got a light. This is a stab lock breaker panel. You want us to scan it first. Now I'll go over it again. Turn the panel now. There it is. Get the breaker off. Check it out. Here's our receiver. Shows no power here, so we've got the right breaker. What happens if you use a different transmitter? Say you don't use the Fluke one and you use the Klein Tools one. So let's check it out, see what happens. See if we can find that Klein transmitter. So we're going to turn the unit on. I'm going to slide it to the breaker finder. We'll put the light on as well. This is an ITE, a blue line breaker panel. We'll scan the breakers here. So you can find the Klein transmitter. It found it. Go over it again. It's 13, number 13. We've got the breaker. There's no light on it. We got the right breaker. Let's try something new here. Let's plug the Klein transmitter in and the Fluke transmitter in and see if this uh, the Fluke breaker finder can find both these transmitters. And put the Fluke one. It's in the closet here. Plug the Klein transmitter into the outlet here. This is in the workshop. So let's see if we can find the two receivers, the, the Fluke and the Klein. Turn the unit on. Switch it to the breaker finder. Turn the light on. We'll do our scan. Uh, one and it found the other one. It's off. Shut the breakers off. So it's breaker number four and breaker number thirteen. Breaker number four off first. Number 13, there's lights in this area, in the shop area. It's going to shut some lights off. We've got the right breakers. Number 13, the Klein one, the power's off. Found that one. Is there a fluke transmitter? It was plugged in number four breaker, and the power is off as well. The fluke a breaker finder was able to find the Klein transmitter as well as the fluke transmitter at the same time. Let's check this NCV non contact volt detector. So turn the unit on, switch it to NCV, and various colors here, the blue. And then when it does find the voltage, it'll turn red and beep. So let's try it. Turn the power on, switch it to NCV. Now you can check the wire itself. That's the hot wire. And so if you have to rewire it, then you know which wire to use with the hot wire on the your plug here. Let's check the unit. Very handy feature to have with this Fluke BK120. So my camp is an older circuit. I'm going to get an open ground here. No ground uh, shows, shows open ground. Now the one thing about the uh, the Fluke one, when you unplug it, it doesn't hold the reading. The Kuwait and the uh, Klein does hold that reading. So you can see it. This is GFCI plug. We're going to try out the Fluke. On this one here, I'll plug it in. 
and it shows you that it's wired pr properly. Hit the GFCI plug, it's going to trip the breaker. It's GFCI doesn't show me nothing. Let's reset it. And let's try the climb. So the climb shows you how much voltage it is. It's wired correctly. Hit the test button, it shuts it off. Actually shows you how long it took to, to trip it off. Today we looked at the Fluke BK120 Smart Tracing Breaker Finder. Has some nice features. Got the also has a non-contact volt detector built in with a flashlight as well. Got a different kind of a receiver here, kind of an odd-shaped receiver compared to the Klein one and the Kiwitz. The pictorial manual is nice. It's easy to understand. Uh, doesn't come with this adapter, but that is the Klein one. Uh, that adapter is for when you're checking your lights, and it's kind of a unique one. Now, this would be a hard one to check for a pot light because of the design of the receiver. So some things to consider if you which one you're going to buy. Uh, which one would I probably use first? Probably the, the Fluke one. A little more accuracy to it. So please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps grow my channel. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video today. Have a great one, people.